So a lot of players struggle with making a full turn. All right, I'm one of them. All right, you know why? Because we get back there in our backswing, deep in our backswing, and we lose sight of the ball. We lose our relationship in space. It gets weird back there, right? So we don't turn. All right, so our players go off is they keep their chest on the ball and turn this way. So if I do a line down, my lead shoulder hasn't really moved much, okay? They think they've made a turn because their arms have moved. But in reality, they haven't really made a powerful backswing. All right, so especially with the driver. We need to get this chest really driving the backswing. So I feel like I'm glued here, all right? When I do my takeaway, this chest is driving it. All right, there's my takeaway. That is my takeaway. The takeaway is the chest driving it. All right, that way it helps me get into a powerful backswing where my back is fully facing the target and I have the best chance of uh, giving the club time to accelerate because when we don't turn and we keep our chest on the ball, the minute we start our downswing, we're already ahead of the ball, we're gonna get deep. As soon as we transition into the downswing, we're already ahead of the ball. Look what it does to the club. It throws it out. It has no time to accelerate. And with the driver being the longer shaft in the bag, we need time to accelerate, which is why we need a big backswing. Now, I'm not asking you to come off the ball. I'm asking you to turn your chest as you take the club back. Okay, and I really feel like I'm loading into this hip. This is my stabilizer in the backswing, and I'm fully turned, okay? So my lead shoulder's over my back foot, all right? That's a great indication that you've done it right. So I want you to hit it really far. So just be careful when you take the club back. Bring your chest along for the ride, all right? So I like to feel this chest to ar lead arm to chest connection as I take the club back, really important. All right, so there's my takeaway. It's nice and wide. Right? I'm not collapsing and my chest isn't staying on the ball. Everything's working together so I can really get my back fully facing the target. And this gives the club time to accelerate on the downswing. This is a long shaft. It needs time. So to give yourself enough time, allow the club enough time to accelerate on the downswing by making a full turn. Okay, so get this chest moving in the takeaway, I feel like my chest is over my back foot right now. That's my indication that I've made a full backswing, and I'm just gonna continue to the top from here, okay? But my thought is to load into this back hip, to really sit into it. So I'm sitting into it. So you can see my chest is fully opposite the target, okay? My lead shoulder's over my back foot. What I'm not doing is leaving my lead shoulder on my front foot. That's what I see a lot of players do. All right, so the minute you start moving forward, you can see what the club does. It's gonna get steep, you're gonna get ahead of the ball, and you're probably gonna have to hang back because you're ahead of the ball. You're not gonna get any distance. One thing I want you guys to be careful of is your head. All right, we don't want your head really moving off the ball too much in the backswing. If it moves off a little, I'm okay. But if it moves off a lot, you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so just, Pivot your chest, but keeping your head pretty centered, all right? We want everything behind the ball so you can launch it, but we don't want is coming off the ball, all right? That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you to just turn and load into this back side so you can see my chest is fully opposite the target. My lead shoulder is over my back foot. If you want more pars, let's make sure you're turning your chest in the backswing.